Hey everybody, John Smale here again, uh, talking about Smale's Pace Coffee House. Uh, that's something I owned back in the 70s, and I'll tell you, it was a terrific time. Uh, I spoke before about uh, renting this Bell Telephone garage and the first ambulance garage in, in London, Ontario. And there's a, a photo of it up there in the upper corner of the way it is. it was on day one rather uh, uh, rather a mess but a ter terrific bones as they say the middle photo is uh, after renovations and if you're looking at that goofy guy in the doorway that's Paul Trotter uh, acting like sort of a 1970s fashion model uh, leaning ever so sultry there anyway what it shows is that obviously brown shades of brown were the colors of the day I mean uh, Golly, I'm an interior architectural designer now, and uh, brown is probably one of my least favorite colors. But back then, it was obviously terrific. Anyway, it's about budget meeting creativity, really. It's uh, it, it's about uh, rubber meeting the road and sandals or cowboy boots or whatever. And so when we were putting together the exterior, it luckily had the, a courtyard, and I... Uh, I managed to scoop up this huge uh, window from a place that was being torn down and that became like uh, fantastic. I think there were 12 different panes of glass in it and it filled up the, the whole front, let in a lot of light and a lot of views in, a lot of views out. Where Paul is standing there at the doorway, that was a, an addition, a vest, an exterior vestibule uh, built on to Smell's Pace by Stan Rogers and his dad. And they very kindly came down and spent the weekend laying block, and um, and then I faced it with board and batten. After that, the uh, shows a little garden there in front of the window, which is uh, which is kind of funky. More in the foreground, out towards the street, that's an archway. I also scooped from clients of mine, as I said in a in a previous uh, podcast, that um, I used to design windows and store interiors for retail stores along the main street in in london and that came from a shoe store uh, from their home actually they're a very nice couple and they they knew i was uh, opening this uh, club on clarence street and they said well if you want to come over to the house and have a look at it you can have it so that was uh, terrific and then we just added the extra timbers around it You'll notice the the brick walls on the side there uh, using the garage doors that were taken off the front of the building. I just painted them up and used them as poster holders where the glass would be. Uh, as I say, uh, creativity ruled the day and whatever it took. Um, so uh, the what's not showing in, in this is the double-sided plywood sign that my brother Bob painted with the Smales Pace logo on it and the iconic figures, the guitar player and the coffee mug and the, and the candles, which tied uh, all of us in together as brothers. And uh, so I'll, I'll be pulling up that photo sometime soon. The exterior was also uh, the summer cafe. We had it paved. It was uh, all rough and tumble. And we paved it with a white dye in the uh, asphalt. But it used to get really bloody hot, the asphalt, and you'd almost, your chair would almost sink into the, the soft putty-like surface of the asphalt tar. Um, but we had lots of good lunches out there when it wasn't too hot. It faced west, so it did get pretty darn hot. You'll notice, uh, uh, maybe not in this photo, but we did a, a terrific rope sculpture of the uh, Smales Pace uh, snail there, Ooh, over here in the corner. And uh, that was all done in rope, and we did lots of rope sculptures. And I believe uh, my, my good buddy, Ray Dawson, who was a terrific artist and one of my best friends, uh, did that for us. And um, now, that kind of sums up the exterior of Smales Pace. And these photos date back a long way, so I was just very lucky to have these. I'm always looking for photos because, as I said in a previous video, uh, we just don't have a lot of them, so if you got any from your uh, tickle trunk or magic box, please send them along. If you enjoy this, 
let me know if you have any questions or comments, uh, please subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye, my friends.